Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Procreate 5X. And for this video, guys, I finally I'm able to show you where does the option private layer actually lives in Procreate 5X. So we finally found this sneaky little option and I'm gonna show you where you can access and what are the best use cases for this feature. So let's get started. So first, I'm just going to create a screen size canvas. And now on my new canvas, first we're gonna go into the actions menu on the option add. And I believe we had these options on at least the previous version of Procreate on Procreate 5, which are insert a file, insert a photo or take photo. But now we can actually slide to the left. So first I'm going to slide to the left, insert file, and there it says insert a private file. Now looking here, this is an example on my Dropbox and I'm going to select this photo right here so it's just loading up and imports it into procreate i'm just going to accept this and now when i look on the layers panel this layer says private meaning we've inserted a private layer or private file so i'm just going to delete this once again going to the actions menu add insert photo slide to the left insert a private photo there you go now it was just looking on my camera roll and i am inserting this photo right here. I'm just going to leave it just like so because I want to show you what are some of the best use cases for this option. Once again, clicking on the layers panel. Now you see inserted image is set to private and there's not really a way here to uncheck this option to like set it public. But I do believe that you can just click on this layer if you ever want it to not be private. Just hit copy and then create a new layer just in case and then hit paste. And you're going to now paste this layer, paste this image onto a normal layer. Therefore, it will probably going to show on, uh, like always, on your speed paint video. So that's not really what we want. But now let's just keep moving with the lesson. You can also, going back into the actions menu, instead, instead of just taking a photo, you can take a private photo. So now if I just raise my iPad right here, you can see that is actually scanning up the room. And let's just say, let's see if I can actually frame this also on the video. I want a beautiful picture of Link here that I have on my table. I'm going to say use photo and there you go. This photo that I just took says private here in the layers in the layer uh, options as well. So really guys, the idea here for actually using a private layer and importing an image, for example, on your illustration is for you to be able to record time lapse videos such as this one pretty much speed paint videos of your process of your illustration without having to actually reveal the layer that's actually driving this illustration, the reference layer per se, that's actually driving this illustration. So it is a quicker method for you to actually set up your canvas, set up your workflow in a way that you can have a ref reference file that doesn't really affect the video quality of your speed paint. So this is actually a really nice addition to Procreate 5X which will allow you know, artists and illustrators to actually pre prepare their base and their layer foundation so that they can create their videos, their process videos, without having any layers that have some transparency on the background and kind of just focus more on the design itself of their illustrations. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload, and the other one is a video that YouTube is recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.